Hey everybody, welcome back. I just want to do a quick video about, obviously a little bit about how I got started in cybersecurity and how I think you can too. The reason why I'm making this video is one, I have a lot of people ask me and I really haven't made an official video on this yet. And two is because I think I have a unique look at this question because I have not been in the industry for 10 or 20 years. I'm fairly new within, you know, three to four or five years, somewhere in there, depending on, you know, what you would count my official start date in the industry at. So this question for me is a little bit closer than some of the other people that have answered in the community that are much further along in their careers and stuff like that. So I wanted to give my take on it from someone who broke in a little bit more recently into the sort of cybersecurity field and job market that kind of still exists today. So I feel like some of my experiences are pretty similar to what other people will experience and kind of what you can expect, as well as just answer questions about myself, just so there's a video out there that I can show people if they ask on stream or on Twitter or anything else. So that's what we're going to do. So the first thing is just really quick is my backstory on why I even ended up here in the first place. I started the same place that a lot of people started. I spent time in the computer lab in school, spent time on, you know, a laptop at home, playing video games, playing online games or little computer games, whether they were single player or online or whatever. And curiosity starts to kind of take hold on how that stuff works, on how I can play with my friends and how I can play locally and how maybe I can have unlimited health in the game that I'm playing or how I can cheat and get all of the gold in the game or the items. As well as, I will admit, I was that, you know, eight-year-old kid in some of the online games that click down the dumb links because someone promised them something in game and all you have to do is click the link and do the thing. Been down that road, super upsetting at the time, but then it kind of leads to curiosity on how someone can do that with just having you click on a link and go to a site and then how, you know, that can end up, you know, taking over your game or rooting your computer or anything like that, right? So that's how the curiosity kind of began and it went through high school, still a gamer, of course, but the curiosity is hopefully still there too, but it kind of carried on into college. So in college, I went for computer engineering, but I wasn't specifically going like, okay, I'm going to go do cybersecurity. It, it was it was part of the curiosity, but I actually had a lot of different interests in the time. So I didn't actually spend a lot of time in cybersecurity. I took like one or two classes that would give me like a track in cybersecurity is what my university called it. But other than that, I really did a lot of different things. I was way into like robotics and embedded programming and just software development in general and the software development lifestyle, like life cycle and all that kind of stuff. So it wasn't just like all in cybersecurity right away. I really only had a class or two that taught like the essentials of, you know, what it, you know, basically like secure coding and stuff like that. There wasn't a whole bunch, like I didn't take anything on pen testing. There wasn't anything on anything like that. So red teaming, blue teaming, pen testing, like that was all still, I knew the words kind of, they'd been floated before, but really didn't have a whole bunch of experience with them. And that kind of leads into the breaking in moment for me is when I started in my career, I was not in cybersecurity. I was in a different area of my company and I was doing basically software development and API development and tool development and stuff like that and bumps shoulders with some of the security people that we were developing APIs for and started talking to a few of the leaders in that community and a few of the managers and stuff like that. And I was very young. I was still in the like talent development program at the time. And I had a few really great mentors that encouraged me to look around and not just like stick to what I happened to land in out of college and see what kind of opportunities were out there and what kind of stuff looked interesting to me. And that when I was young was my time to really like bounce around and explore things. So that's what I did. And I happened to land on a red team really early again in like a development program. And I was came from the software development background and like a security engineering background, maybe you could say, but had no official red teaming experience. So I took the opportunity without like with the bare minimum that they would take me on within the company is basically like a pseudo intern development program, whatever you'd want to call it. And while I was there, I said, Hey, what can I do to be useful? And I spent a lot of time automating tools for them and stuff like that. But to really get the hand on keyboard opportunities that I wanted, they told me, well, you know, you have, there's these certs that exist and that's kind of what's respected by the community. 
So as some of you know, I went really heavy down the certificate route. I got certs and then I got another one and then I got another one and I just kept getting them because I was told early on that one of the ways to get respect in the community and maybe the fastest way as a younger kid without going out and finding a bunch of CVEs since I didn't really have that type of experience yet was to go out and land a bunch of certs as fast as I could and get some of the big name certs and stuff. So I currently hold three offensive security certs. I hold the OSCP, the OSWA, and the OSWE. And all those I kind of got like within two of the three of those I got within this like first eight months of doing this. I, I really started to like the web stuff. I really got into it right away. So I just went down got my OSCP, got my OSWE, and I was basically doing work and or cyber stuff for like 65 to 80 hours a week. And I really liked it though. It, it wasn't like so much of a grind and we're going to talk about that later, but it really wasn't so much of a grind. I really enjoyed it and I really enjoyed the challenge and especially, you know, passing certs and, and getting, you know, noticed internally in the company and stuff like that was really nice. So that was my break in my break in when, and again, we're going to talk about it here in a second, but my break in was an opportunity that I had very young as sort of an internship position, super entry level. And I used that internship position as an opportunity to learn what type of certs would be respected and what kind of paths I could go down to better educate myself. And then I just crushed that path in my free time. And that's basically the route that I took it's as far as the corporate side. Obviously, certs don't do anything for some of the folks that are here for bug bounties and stuff like that. Like they, they make you no money. In fact, they're cash flow negative if you take certs in bug bounty space, but that's how I did it. So now the little ending part I want to do, so I want to keep the video short, is we, I talked about myself. That's my story. I went the cert route and then after the certs and after I was in a cybersecurity role is when I learned about the bug bounty community and started getting involved in bug bounties and learned about InfoSec Twitter and all that kind of stuff and really noticed that there's a lot of cool people doing a lot of cool stuff, whether it's under like a corporate flag or not. But that doesn't necessarily mean that that has to be your way into the community. There is always the endless discussion about, do you go the certs route? Do you go the degree route? Do you go the experience route? Do you go some mix of the two or three? or whatever and everyone has an opinion and I, like I do have an opinion but frankly it doesn't really matter what anyone's opinion is because it really is different for everybody if you want to be the person that wants to get discovered by topping the leaderboard on a bug bounty hunter program and getting hired through bug bounties that's great if you want to go try and get three or four CVEs on software that you found so you can just have a resume with a bunch of CVEs on it and that's how you land your first gig great. If you want to go to a four-year university or whatever and get a degree, great. If you want to get a two-year degree or get no degree or try and find a help desk position and then slowly get certs and move your way up, there's a lot of people that do that too. There's umpteen million ways to get into cybersecurity. And I would at least argue that there's not necessarily a best way that's the best way for everyone. There are, you, you know, you could have a conversation with someone and you could probably figure out what the best way for a certain person is. If they learn better in a school situation, then maybe they should go the degree thing. If they hated school and they hate the structure and they really just want to do what they're passionate about and like they really have a certain area of cybersecurity that interests them, that's not really the school route or especially maybe even like a cert route, then yeah, maybe the experience brute force way is the way to do it for that specific person. But everyone is different. The third bullet here is big. The third bullet here is so big because no matter what I did, and from stories I've heard from a lot of other people, no matter what they did, networking always equals opportunities. And especially in this field, if you are interested in cybersecurity in any aspect, and especially if you have not broken in yet, the number one thing you can do is go find communities that you enjoy being a part of that are centered around parts of cyber or really any field that you enjoy being in and get involved, be active, start talking, ask questions, but do research before you ask your questions. Don't expect someone to just regurgitate information for you. Go do a little research when you get stuck. Go to that person's stream or go to that Twitter or post on Twitter or get in a Discord. There's so many communities now, especially in cyber, 
that are so welcoming to new people and are more than willing to welcome you in and talk to you and encourage you and point you in the right directions and give you advice for free and for a good time. It's always better to do stuff with people, in my opinion. To do stuff with crazy people is such a good time. So that's all I'm gonna say about that. The last point about passion is I'm just gonna say this now. If you're trying to do it for money, it just won't work. There, there's too much work, it's too frustrating. I'll, like there's no aspect of cyber that ever can't get frustrating at some point, whether it's not finding the bug or whether it's trying to pass the cert or dealing with school <clears throat> or dealing with outages if you're on that side of cyber or not being able, you know, not having a good pen test, not finding anything, like no matter what it is, like cyber is something where like, if there's not something about it, that that nicks your interest no matter what area of cyber it is honestly no matter what it is in general if there's not passion in it none of these entrances into the cybersecurity community are going to be worth your time I, i'm just telling you that right now just friend to friend it, it's totally okay but if it is something if there's anything you are passionate about go find communities and see how other people broke in just like i told my story in the beginning of the video i encourage you to go find someone and say, hey, like what certs do you have? Did you go to school? What kind of experience do you have? You'll probably end up bumping shoulders with someone who has at one point or maybe is a hiring manager. And even if they don't have a position sitting there waiting to hand to you, they can give you such crucial advice of like, oh, this is what I look for. These are questions I would ask. This is what I would do with your resume this kind of stuff. Let's say you want to go the experience route. Maybe they can get you in touch with some people they know that do the thing you like to do and you get a little group going and you try and find CVEs or try and you know do bug bounties or whatever it is. But finding something that you're passionate about and then using that third bullet of networking and networking with the people you're passionate about it with is so cool. And I think any of the three routes of certs or degrees or experience will come naturally and you'll kind of find your way in if you do those bottom two bullets and just kind of trust the process, it won't happen overnight. It, it takes a little bit of finesse and I, and I understand that might not be fair, but it just is the way it is right now. But there's plenty of people to help me on the journey. Obviously I'm one of them. If there's anything I can do, let me know. If I can't do it for you or I can't help you, I will try and you know, know someone that I networked with maybe that I can get you in touch with. But I encourage you guys to go back, listen to my story, listen to this stuff and maybe go ask other people their story. How did you break in? They'll tell you, start comparing notes. And uh, any of you guys trying to break into cyber, I wish you the best of luck. Again, if there's anything I can do, let me know. And we'll try and get you in touch with people. If there's anything you wanna see to help you break into cyber at this point that I haven't provided yet, let me know. And we'll try and get to that stuff. I'm, I'm all about helping you guys on the journey just because I've had a lot of people that have helped me on my journey and hopefully that continues. So. We're trying to build a community here. I hope you guys found this video interesting. I just thought I'd throw it out there, but that's, that's all for now. Peace.